Hello friends and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and today is the uh, my first video in the 2018 year. Very excited about what is coming up in this new year. Uh, we are only six months away, less than six months away from the new Han Solo movie, which means we are likely to get more and more stuff from the film into the game. And as as more and more information is released about the film, and, and really it's going to be late into May until like days before the movie launches that we'll have really anything tangible to look at. But, but with that, I, I know that we're going to be getting more and more stuff from episode eight now with that in this video i would like to focus on two things the january event calendar and what specifically the login character quite possibly mean for this event or for this calendar and also i want to go over the meta report now that's i just find it so fascinating what has come out now with that i do want to go ahead and just jump right into it and our Login character for this month is going to be Poe Dameron and Finn. Now, Finn doesn't have a last name, but he's Finn. The Finn. Now, what does that mean for, for our character roster and how it's going to grow? But I now fully believe that we are going to be getting Rose. So for those of you who have seen episode 8, you know that Poe and Finn are connected to Rose. Now, I am... Curious to know how she is going to be connected to the game. I don't think she'd be a tank. I don't think she'd be an attacker. I think she'd be in a, be a support character, and somehow connected to the the Finn leadership ability. So I bet you she's going to be able to throw down a ton of advantage and quite possibly maybe even grant turn meter. I don't really know. Maybe she rides Favier's. Maybe that's one of her special abilities. She, you know, calls in a herd of Favier's. I have no idea. Um, but I do think that that, that this latest edition, this, this latest login character is hinting at the fact that we are going to be getting Rose. Now, since Rose is not the biggest of characters, I don't think that we're going to be getting her in a legendary event. Um, it would be kind of funny to see what a legendary event surrounding Rose would look like. But I do think that they're going to be giving us new new characters, more and more characters from Episode 8. We haven't really seen many so far. And I think that could be simply because we just didn't have a lot of information about episode eight and i'm sure they didn't want to spill the beans as to whether ray was a jedi or whether she wasn't whether she was the last jedi or luke was the last jedi or whatever now i do think what we'll be doing is getting rose in some kind of uh character event something like we've seen in a number of the other ones like we saw with the ewoks we saw with uh gar saxon and the imperial super commando i don't think that she's going to be a game changer i think that she's going to be a nice support character that will add to the resistance uh team that will flesh it out and it'll be nice to actually have a resistance team that's big enough to run two different resistance teams currently we don't have that you have to choose between uh the the solid hardcore meta hitting resistance team or it's just having some stragglers and i think that having uh, another character, quite possibly multiple characters from that, um, would be interesting. Now, the last few character events that we've had have come in waves of three or come in, in sets of, of two or three, depending on whether or not they had, you know, ships. Really, we don't know how they're going to come, but it could be that we see other characters introduced here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Resistance Bombardier with a Resistance Bomb... Burr, resistance bomber um that would be cool we do have quite a few resistance characters a few resistance uh ships as it is now um but really not enough to have its own fleet i would like to have my own fleet of resistance characters but um i would be kind i wouldn't be shocked if we saw a rose character event or a new resistance character event sometime in the end of the month or by the end of the month if you look at the events we are pretty booked all the way through the end of the month from the really really we have it seems like every couple of days there's something 
Who Rose will be, what she'll look like, I have no idea. But I do think she's coming, and I would be willing to bet that she is coming before the end of the month. Now, moving on, I want to talk about the meta report from swgoh.gg. Now I want to talk about the meta report. For those of you who don't know, the meta report is at, located at swgoh.gg. It is this this website is essential for all players who are more than just vaguely connected to the game. I mean, if you just downloaded it, you need to know what the site is. You log in, it shows you some great things. And this meta report looks at the top, um, it, it pulls tons of information and it's synced daily. And right now I'm gonna be looking at the ranks one to 100 meta report because I feel like that's more telling about what really the meta is. Um, now this is based on 50,587 arena teams uh, it was updated today and right now at 47 percent we have commander luke skywalker still in first place now that what that means is of all of those top 10 leaders at ranks 1 through 100 right in the top 10 you have a commander luke skywalker lead now 14 percent shortly just underneath that is Ray Jedi training tied with General Kenobi. Now this is fascinating because what that tells me is two things. General Kenobi is a key component in either the Ray Jedi training lead character Ray Jedi training team or the Commander Luke Skywalker team. Um, both are I wouldn't say necessarily needed but he is crucial to both of those teams. I mean, you can do without him if you have a, another solid character, if you're paying a ton of attention, but he is an essential part, and and he makes up that better team. So those three characters are, are important to have. Now, what's really interesting, though, is if you break it down or if you look into the top, you know, top 1%, or if you look at the the meta report for the you know top 10 leaders at rank one it switches it goes from commander luke being the the meta leader to ray jedi training being the meta leader and what that tells me is luke's on his way out because if you watched the the mobile gamer um arnold video the the thing that they did they where they looked at the two main characters um or the two main main ray teams um and they said do these teams do, does commander luke play nice with these characters and they found out no a a ray jedi training does not lead does not play well with a commander luke it's not that he can't is ineffective um in attacking but in defense, he's just not the most effective in defending. And so what's interesting about this is it tells me that there are still very few people who went after Ray, who have unlocked Ray. And so if you have Ray unlocked and you just haven't decided to gear her, or spend the time to gear because you're not sure whether or not you should, the answer is yes, you absolutely should. Ray Jedi training is the next meta. And she is going to be the next meta until another character can can oust her. Now, I'm hoping that someone comes up with a way to kind of neutralize her or comes up with a team that um, can make it so that she's not as as damning to the to the arena for those for those players who don't have her. But she is a solid character that that if you have her now, gear her up. She is worth it. Um, like I'm currently running Jedi Training Ray, and I I'd been playing around with a few different teams that sucked in arena, and I just couldn't get them to work, and that dropped me from the low twenties to the mid hundreds, and it took me a while because I was I was fighting some really tough teams to get back into that top one hundred spot, and then get back in that top fifty spot. But the moment that I was able to gear Ray to to 12 and then put her in, within one day, I was able to jump 50 spots. I went from over 100 to just, I think it was 49. And now I, you know, on my daily, I go from 49 to, depending on, 
on the day, I go from 49 to like 35 or 30 or 25, depending on how intently I am uh, playing. Now, the problem for me is that my, my, <laughs> my guild's raids take place at the same time as my arena payout takes place. So I can either choose to, you know, f hit hardcore on arena, or I can choose to do really well in the raids. Now, personally, because I've spent more time putting putting together teams that are raid appropriate and not as much time doing it well in the arena, really it comes down to I can set it and forget it and I play the raids versus arena. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a choice I have to make, but it happens, right? Um, but with that, it's really saying this... This meta report tells me, hey, I am going to need Ray. And if I'm a new player, I need to do everything that I can to get Ray. Now, what that means is unlocking First Order so that I can then unlock BB-8 so that I can then do the best that I can to like build up my resistance teams. Now, if you don't want Ray, then that's fine. Just know that you're not going to be in the top 10 or 50 points of the arena. Now, if you're fine with that, great, because there's still crystals available to you if you're in the top 50, the top 100. There's still crystals available to you if you just play in the arena, and so that that works out. But um, what you need to know is that, hey, she is going to be a great character. And looking again, looking back at this calendar, event calendar for January, I honestly think that we're going to be getting more and more characters from, from episode eight. Now, I think that's probably going to last through January for sure, and maybe even into March, when I think we're going to start getting our first teasers for the solo movie. Now, I'm excited for that. Um, I'm hoping that it's good. I don't know. I've had some mixed feelings about the Star Wars films lately, but this game and the extended universe are keeping me, they're keeping me a fan. And and I did love the movie. I, I found it really fun to watch. I There are some major problems with it for sure. Um, the more I dive into it, the more I analyze it, the less I like it. But when I stop doing that and I just look at it as a film, meh, it's fun. It's enjoyable. But with that, guys, what do you think about this new information from the event calendar? What do you think about the new meta report or the latest meta report? Um, I've been wanting to do this monthly, but you know everyone does it you know, every so often, so I've just run out of things to say. But um, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, like, and share this video. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, stay nerdy, my friends.